since Baal Shem Tev, or the Friedrich became later at the end, they are inferior, Chas Shalom. On the contrary, so let me tell you a Maise. Baal Shem Tev, or Mons Darshaning, Kavon is a mikveh, and a person goes to the mikveh. What kind of Kavon should have in the mikveh? This Kavon, a pitoyes of Baal Shem Tev, is in the mitre of a cedar, a cedar with chesides. At the end, there you have also Kavones a mikve, a pitoyes of Baal Shem Tev. Baal Shem Tev taught the Kavon. He taught this Talmudim to Chavai Kedisha. At the beginning, they themselves didn't realize the moiridike, the moiridike greatness of Baal Shem Tev. So they thought that is as much greater than Baal Shem Tev. They had the Shaila, uh, these are gives a different pshat, a different kavone. How can the Bar Baal Shem Tev disagree with the Riza? And they thought the Riza is the last word in Teresa Nister, Teresa Kabole. How can the Baal Shem Tev say different kavone, a different kavone than the Riza? And asked the Ever Maharer, this Shaila, how can the Baal Shem Tev disagree? The full creek of, of the result, but Shem have noticed it. And one of his town medium, he made to suddenly fall asleep. Heaven is a Lachman Horodonker. Eventually became his also his son in law, but Lachman Horodonker, one of the great town medium of the Bar Shem Tev. Can you imagine Bar Shem Tev sits here and he says a Tere, a mimer, Kavon a Mikveh. And he falls asleep, tries everything possible not to fall asleep in front of Baal Shem Tev, but he couldn't help himself, and he fell asleep. As he falls asleep, he has sees a chizoyan, a vision. What does he see in this vision, Hebre? He sees he's in Gan Eden, in Olam, Olam, Elyon, and when he sees a commotion, all the Leshomis in Gan Eden are running, running back and forth, running. So he asked, and this Nachman Haradonker asked one of the Shomers, where are you running? What's going on? So didn't you hear? The Holy Baal Shem Tev is here, is coming, he's going to Febrenk. So when Nachman Haradonker heard his own Rebbe is coming to Iganet to Febrenk with the oil on, with the Shomers, he also ran into Besmedrish. And he pushed himself all the way at the, at the head, where Baal Shem Tev was at the had a throne for Baal Shem Tev, where will be sitting. And Baal Shem Tev comes, and the Hever, the whole hall of Ningan Eden, is packed with all the Rishomis, they became all the biggest Rishomis. And Baal Shem Tev comes and says a drosha, what drosha? The Kavon Samik, which he just said he heard it below. What he said here to the Havai Kedisha, that's what he said in Gan Eden, the Kavon Samik. And everybody listens. At the end of the drosha of the miner from Baal Shem Tev, sees a young man pushes himself among the oil. He thought to himself, what kind of chutzpah? The big tzaddik, all this. Who is this young man who pushes himself amongst and wants to come towards the Baal Shem Tev? He asks, who is this person? Who is this Rishamit? He says, who this is this? The Riza. Oh, the Riza is. So Riza pushed himself all the way in front came to the, before Bar Shem Tev, and he started a whole purple with the Bar Shem Tev, Kavon Samikve. Until a lengthy, and the, uh, the Machman Horodon can listen to this purple. At the end, the boy said, the Reza is Moide, who is the MSDK Kavone, like the Bar Shem Tev. Because they're not, Chas but Reza is not, a deeper, a deeper level of them. So when he heard this, the Reza, is Moide, that who is rich at the Amity Kavone? So he got up and then he felt very bad that he fell asleep. So Baal Shem Tev says, Nachman or Nachman, don't feel bad. I took you along to the Milo. You should witness, you should testify what you heard. If what is the Amity Kavone, not like that. It's also, yes, that is Pshat, Remish, in Pshat itself, many Madrigas. So there is also Moide, the Baal Shem Tev's Kavone is even deeper. So, Brother said, this is the mile of Baal Shem Tev, like Gabriel Rizal. 